Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Extinct Bricks Originals! And for this very special episode, we'll be featuring the LEGO Dur Custom Jurassic World Dominion Tarasinosaurus. This is in collaboration with the Toy Universe. But before we head on, the guess PC contest winners will be announced now! And here are the 10 lucky picks. Here they are. Tyrosaurus Ox, Pyrol, David Van, Foo Fighters, Rainbow Razor, Kaiser Invictus, Techie, Lefgott, Golden Bonnie, Ink Death. Congratulations everyone and our four top 10 winners. A Bob Akula. Dusty Forest Rakes. Green Mark 11 year old boy. Green Fury Yellow Sarthagonix. Mr. T Rex. Rico Zilla Toy. Wally Sarthagonix. Sunny Lee. Yaroslav Lubukansky. And before we head on, please. Like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And now, number one. Hold on top. Congratulations, everyone, and I'll see you on the next Guess PC contest. For those of you who would like to join, here's how. Just click on the Extinct Bricks icon, and it will lead you to the Extinct Bricks homepage. And in the homepage, just click on that community link, and it will lead you to all our boats. And now, moving along with... The making of our Jurassic World Dominion Therisinosaurus. And we have our Therisinosaurus here that is already kit bash. I have widened the body because the Baryonyx body is quite thin, to be honest. I made some adjustments in terms of articulation on the arms at, uh, at this point and made the tail uh, a little bit longer. Okay, so in addition, I actually wanted to have more articulation on the hands. So the wrists are now a ball socket and joint. Uh, wrist and the uh, claws are actually uh, removable each one of them also the head here will have more articulation because it's a ratchet, ratchet joint now so um, you can move the head in so many different ways I also removed the sickle claw of the baryonyx and also added a 3 by 2 stud on the back now here is how it looks like so far after uh, sculpting so i used pioneer non sag epoxy for this one and uh, after it has fully cured uh you know uh, this is how it looks like you now i added several uh, feathering details on the body on the arms on the thighs on the head and also on the neck area and even the tail So I did uh, a little bit of wet sanding on this one before we headed off with, of course, primering the figure. So for primering, I used uh, Bosnian number 68 in red. And here is how it looks like. So after this has already been dried, it's now ready for us to paint. So I did two or three coats on this one because it's quite a large figure to be honest. Uh, Alright, so... Uh, for us to start on the paint, we'll be using some different colored, different sizes of brushes, some water, and of course acrylics over here. Now, we're ready to paint. And since we're basing it off from the Jurassic World Dominion Therisinosaurus, uh, I figured that there's different shades of gray on the Therisinosaurus. It's quite a dirty gray to be honest. So. This is just a mixture of gray and uh, yellow ochre all together and we're painting it on most areas of the Therisinosaurus including the body, the, the head, the neck of course and the other ex and the extremities as well as that of the tail. Now the underbelly of the Therisinosaurus is a little bit lighter to be honest and most of the dinosaurs do. Uh, so we're painting on here the same colors that we had uh, earlier but added some white and uh, for the details on this one we're uh, painting in individual feathers on, uh, uh, to make that transition not just straight so yeah so using the same colors that we have here we're also painting some details on the 
legs. So just here, we're painting um, uh, uh, scales on the knees and also on the thighs and the legs of our Therosinosaurus. There are different sizes and also um, uh, different concentrations of scales on the thighs as well as that of the legs. We're also going to paint some small details also on the arms of the Therosinosaurus. Alright, so once that is actually dried, we will be moving on with uh, the next uh, colors on our Therosinosaurus. So, here now is a mixture of black, red, and I think a little bit of white as well, so it's not as dark as it is. So, we're painting on the uh, upper sections of the neck and on the upper sections of the body of the Therosinosaurus. So, we're using here a larger a larger brush so that it covers a lot more area uh, with just one stroke so um, uh, but for the details on this one again we're using a fine tip brush all right so once this is already dried we can now move on with some more details on the paint of our Therosinosaurus and one of those would be here so uh, the transition line between the darker colors of feathers and the grays on the lower sections of the body of the Therosinosaurus is lined by this white uh, feathering detail so this is just a mixture of white and uh, um, uh, the colors of the dark red uh, uh, colors here and we're painting it on the areas of the neck until the end of the tail. Alright, so here we have a darker shade of gray and we're painting some scaling details on the feet. The, uh, this type of detailing is actually uh, done for most of my larger theropods, medium size as well as large theropods, uh, just because I think it, it has to have those instead of just, you know, I'm um, showing up some um, plain color. So for the beak of the Therosinosaurus, we have your mixture of yellow ochre, some white, and a little bit of gray. So not all of the beak of the Therosinosaurus will be uh, just one slate of color, so there would be some gray brushing here involved later on. Alright, so after painting this, it's now time for us to add in some more colors on the face of the Therosinosaurus. Okay, so exactly that. We have here a mixture of blue and some white. I think this is um, navy blue added uh, with some white and we're dotting in several scale details on and around the eyes. So I tried to do one side at a time so that it's much, it does look symmetrical. Uh, um, uh, on, on, on the creature or on the figure because that is how Lego is. And of course, one of the last details that we will be adding would be some feathers on the uh, back of the Therosinosaurus. In the movie clip or in the trailer, it has this um, uh, dark red uh, coloration of feathers on the back as well, on the back of the neck as well as that of the body. So aside from that, the other detailing that we will be painting would be, of course, colors on the claws, insides of the mouth, colors on the teeth, and so on. Alright, so that it is for our the making of our Therosinosaurus. I hope you learned something from this one and enjoyed the video of the making of our Therosinosaurus. Now, it's now time for us to move on with the sun bricks, my favorite part. Alright, so let's count down the number of parts of this one, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is another six, so that makes it 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we have 19 parts of this one. So let's start by, I guess let's connect all the hand parts right now. So we have here uh, one claw. A second one, a third one. Let's attach this to the uh, forearm. Right. And then 
let's attach this to the arm all right so let's uh, pick up the head here and let's connect this to the lower jaw there you go let's attach this to the neck Let's attach this to the body. Now the arms. Start with the left one. And then the left, the right I mean. Now the legs. Right. Left. And then of course it's here. There you go. Power completed. Arsinosaurus. Okay, so it's now time for some extinct breeds dino trivia. The Arsinosaurus name means sight lizard and is a genus of the very large Arsinosaurian that lived in Asia during the late Cretaceous period in what is now Nemet. Okay, so let's now have a closer look on the figure. We, Mario is really excited for this particular costume because we're nearing, you know, uh, the showing date of our uh, Jurassic World Dominion and one of the larger and more interesting uh, herbivores that were actually included in that movie would be this, the Therosinosaurus. So, uh, Moira will be coming back later on for some size comparison. So, bye-bye for now, Moira. So, this particular dinosaur is actually based off from this photo which is one of the official um, photos of the uh, Therosinosaurus so far that we have uh, googled and it has several characteristics that were not actually particular that of a, a, a real um, a Therosinosaurus and we're going to look at them one by one alright so one of those uh, characteristics would be uh, starting off from the head, you can see here that although this this um, Therosinosaurus have um, a beak to it, like uh, the actual Therosinosaurus, the head structure and also the dentition of this Therosinosaurus is quite um, uh, unique in a way because it has this um, sharp like tooth to it. So, uh, as you can see in the movie, the Therosinosaurus has those. I don't know if it's a hybrid or, or of something else, but the Therosinosaurus in the movie was quite scary, to be honest. So, the Therosinosaurus there also has a long neck, as you can see here. So, similar to what I have here, it has large claws to it, so it's quite overgrown. As you can see here, it's quite menacing, to be honest. Look at it. Uh, if I were a T-Rex or a, a, or another her or th uh, theropod dinosaur, I would be scared uh, of even uh, taking a snack on this particular dinosaur because uh, what if it strikes on you like that? So it's going to be uh, really deadly. Uh, also, um, this Therosinosaurus is colored in a way that is very similar to that of the photo that I show showed you earlier on. So it has. Uh, this bluish um, markings on the head right and some uh, colors of red on the back uh, feathering details over here on the sides as well and even the arms as you can see here there there's also a band of white feathers going down from the neck uh, on the arms on the uh, body uh, on the sides as well and until uh, extending towards the tail so the underbelly of the Therosinosaurus although it's not, I'm not quite sure if those are also feathers but it's a grayish slate of a yellowish gray to it so it has some gradients of um, yellowish gray here as you can see here I dry brushed it so that it's quite uh, it would have that kind of sheen to it so it's not all flat gray um, uh, it also has these details of paintings on the uh, hands as well as that of the teeth as you can see here as with my old 
uh, as with my mediums our pods would have all right so uh, in terms of articulation of course this therapod or this uh, thoracinosaurus can actually open and close its mouth uh, since this is a rat joint it can uh, look up down also uh, rotate right and then uh, this neck also can rotate like so okay so the arms are actually unique because it is made up of two ball joints with one here on the wrist and one on the elbow so on the elbow although it's it has a limited movement to it it's actually just how the elbow would uh, would move but at the most it can also be twisted like so the arms or I mean the hands here can be uh, is uh, very um, mobile or very articulated because it's a ball joint as well so you can twist it yes like so and um, yeah so that's the uh, hand for you guys the individual claws are, are also unique because it can be removed like so and can be uh, placed back so it has additional um, build uh, build playability of it. The legs here can move as well as that of the tail. And that's it for the closer look on our Therosinosaurus. Okay, okay, okay. Now it's time for some size comparisons. Alright, so Moira is back here and we're ready for some size comparisons. So let's first compare this Therosinosaurus with my old Therosinosaurus. So, but before that, uh, when you compare the size of the Therosinosaurus uh, with this particular image, I think it's just about the right size because the Therosinosaurus is actually a large, large herbivore. Alright, so let's now move on with the size comparison, shall we? So, we have here our first attempt to do a Therosinosaurus. As you can see here, it's quite bulky. It uses the T-Rex body over here. So, uh, I think this is also a, still a good design, although when I painted this one, it's still quite, um, you know, uh, the way I actually paint my, uh, my figures before. So, it's not as detailed as how I paint them now. Maybe I'll do a repaint on this or probably a, a, a remake of some sort, but I will still be probably using the same uh, parts of this one. Probably just adjust the... Uh, the uh, legs here and then uh, uh, probably add some details of feathers here and there so yeah so that is our Therosinosaurus uh, for you guys so it's almost the same size as our Therosinosaurus here although the structures are very 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 different all right so let's now move on with another one uh, this one is also a recent uh, creation of mine although it's not technically a Therosinosaur it's still a herbivore that has large claws to it so this is the Gigantoraptor so the Gigantoraptor here is a very colorful dinosaur it has this bright orange red and neck to it it has this um, feathering details on the on the face uh, with these um, you know blue uh, blue details and then the rest of the body would actually be just black and gray so in terms of size actually the hip size here or the hip uh, uh, what do you call this height it's actually the same as that of our Therosinosaurus here but since our Therosinosaurus here has a longer neck and has um, has a bigger uh, body to be honest if, if you're going to take a look at it from this side you can see here that I have adjusted here the thickness of the body of our uh, Therosinosaurus. So technically this is much more heavy built than compared to our Gigantoraptor over here. Alright, so moving along with some other customs with big claws. This is Megaraptor. So our Megaraptor here has a such a unique uh, claws to it. It has this one single index finger claw that is quite long that was actually mistaken for the claws of the legs or of the feet 
So, uh, this one is also a large theropod, as you can see here, it's almost the size of a juvenile um, Allosaurus. So, uh, this is also based off from the Mattel Jurassic World Dominion uh, toy. So, uh, I think that particular toy is a cool looking toy. So, probably you, you may want to uh, take a look at that and probably purchase it. And at Alright, so let's now compare with another Therosinosaur. I bet you haven't seen this yet, but I actually uh, have this a Cygnosaurus which is actually made by Mike of PB Toy Universe. I think this is one of my favorites so far from his uh, um, uh, line of herbivores. Uh, this one is a feathered um, a Cygnosaurus, a level 41 and you can see here the details on the uh, head to it. It has this uh, peacock-like design on the head. Uh, the colors on this is extraordinary. So, so I would recommend for you guys to see and take a look at this particular custom, uh, our Segnosaurus by EB Toy Universe. Alright? Okay, so technically it's much smaller, of course, than our um, Theracinosaurus. Although, I'm really not quite sure how big really it is. Uh, Segnosaurus so uh, if, if you do have if you don't have an idea please check out the video guys like me <laughs> so um, another would be our uh, a feathered uh, Gallimimus so this feathered Gallimimus again is a rock star in my opinion he has he sports this large uh, how do you call this a hair like band to it it seems like it is a, a, a mohawk of some sort. So, uh, this is the um, Gallimimus. Oops, it can open and close its mouth like so. Um, it has the saggy arms and then, of course, its long legs and a slick tail to it. So, that's our Gallimimus, a fast runner. Okay, so lastly, we have our. Ornithomimus, which is almost the same size as our Gallimimus that I showed you earlier by EB Toy Universe. This one is also a better one and it's based off from the Jurassic World Alive Ornithomimus. I like the way the colors are with those violets, purples, blues, um, yellows, reds, and blacks. You would think that it's quite an odd contrast of colors but it works actually. So this is our Ornithomimus. And another one, I guess, just to add to, to this particular um, uh, size comparisons, would also be a white um, herbivore, large herbivore as well. So I'm just bringing back the Thoracinosaurus here because it's one large herbivore, which we actually have seen in the recent prehistoric planet um, uh, footage uh, season. So I think it's in the wetlands. Um, a video. So here is our Shannon Dinochiris. So it's a very odd dinosaur to be honest. It has this really big uh, beak of some sort. I cannot say that it's a duck. <laughs> it looks like a duck. I don't know. But yeah. So it has this really big beak to it. It's a really large dinosaur to be honest. So uh, having used a T-Rex body here uh, is a, is quite you know um, it would be the right thing actually. So it has large arms as well. Um, it has this hump on the back, right, and this long neck with lots of feathers to it. So that is the Dino Curious for you guys. So if you haven't seen the video yet, guys, um, I know you have seen. For those of you who have seen the prehistoric planet. Um, you might want to also take a visit on our uh, video of the Dinocurus. Alright, so that ends our uh, size comparisons. We can now move along with... Extinct Bridge Species Rocco. And we have here all the creatures that I've mentioned here earlier on. Big, large, or smaller, or um, medium size. So. Uh, I'll be, um, uh, I have all of these feathered ones, but if you can, uh, if you want to suggest some other creatures that are non-feathered, of course, or any other um, Jurassic World uh, dinosaurs, uh, please comment them down below. I'd be happy to read them up, 
and probably you know reply to them and uh, see if I can include them into my current collection. Alright, so also Moira here would like to remind you guys that all that you see here are available in our Extinct Breaks playlist over here. But I'll be also placing in individual links of all that you see here, all of them, uh, so that you won't have to go through all the 200 and plus dinosaur and also prehistoric creatures uh, videos that I have already uploaded in this particular channel. So um, uh, just uh, see them up in the description box below. All right. So let's now start with our extinct Peak species roll call. Let's, we just adjust here the gold, the ornithomimus. All right. So let's begin from this side, shall we? So we have here our extinct bricks Jurassic World Arizonosaurus. Our extinct bricks uh, walking white dinosaurs, or I think that is uh, dinosaur evolutions. Um, uh, Gigantoraptor. This is our EB Toy Universe. Uh, Jurassic World the game Segnosaurus. This is our extinct bricks Jurassic World the Minion. Mattel, uh, Mattel inspired Mega Raptor. We have here our uh, Jurassic World Alive Extinct Bricks, our Mythomimus. We have here our Ibiza Universe, Level 40 Gallimimus. And we have here our Extinct Bricks, Jurassic World, um, uh, Extinct Bricks, Dino Curious. And of course, the start of the show here, this is our. There you go. Our Jurassic World Dominion Lego Custom Therisinosaurus. So I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video, guys. I, I I think so far this is going to be my favorite custom uh, herbivore. Uh, but of course, my uh, all-time favorite herbivore actually is uh, the Pachycephalosaurus. But maybe you know uh, at least for the Dominion. While well, well, I'm still on the hype for Dominion, this will be my favorite sort uh, herbivore. Herbivore so far. I hope it's not a it's not a uh, ca carnivore. Uh, uh, I don't. I, I I wouldn't want it to end up like you know eating Claire in the movie. So yeah. So anyways, that is my um, uh, Therisinosaurus uh, remake for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. I'll be uh, continuing on with the video clip after this. So please watch until the end of the channel or out of the video. I think Moira is auditioning for the part of Claire. Uh, Moira, that part is already taken. Well, this is a pretty scary um, scene from the Jurassic World Dominion movie. And that's it for the video, guys. Again, thank you so much for your likes, shares, and your views. Maraming salamat. And of course, please do not forget to uh, support our other channels as well. If it's universe and the adventures of Moira and Nasher, please watch their videos and support their channel by subscribing. And as we always would say, let your inner dino break roar! Thanks, everyone. Bye!